your so how do i do that so for that we'll have to use one command called subplot so i'll have to write subplot of then the input uh, the, the input the requirement is m comma n comma p which is main uh, m stands for number of rows n stands for number of column and p is the position let's say i'll write 2 by 2 by uh, first so 2 into 2 4 so it will have a total uh, you know four plots uh, so two row and two column enter and this is how it will look like and then subplot of 2 2 yeah and uh, like this so this is the second position subplot of 4 that's the maximum uh, you know limit we have and subplot of 3 so this is how we can split the existing figure windows into into sub figures now uh, let's do the plotting we we'll call subplot to uh, so, uh, we will call the uh, we will call the subplot function one more time that will provide the first position and then we will go ahead with this plot yeah uh, then we will also provide the y label the legend and x tick as well Yeah, this is warning. Uh, ignoring extra legend entries because uh, uh, in that we have two legends, no? And here we require only one because we are only plotting one. So that's a that's a warning only. And no need to worry about that. Now, uh, as you can see, we have plotted uh, a low temp uh, like uh, low temperature. So I just need to change my legend here. I don't require high temp. Yeah, now the warning is avoided. So I am having low temperature. Now I'll I'll recall the subplot of two two two, and I'll go for high temperature plotting here. And I'll go for Y label legend and a similar extract, but here I'll delete the low temp. and i have got i plotted the high temperature here now we'll go ahead with overlay so we will go for four yeah i using up arrow key i'm going in command history now from here i will go with both I have to start from so i have to start from first with a uh, first syntax till here and here i am having both yes as you can see and after that i will uh, i will recall the fourth plot plot of sorry a third and then i will try i will use a bar h function to create horizontal bar plot so only thing i'll have to write here bar h and bar h and here i have plotted just like this so here obviously this that was for so here we have we have to change the property for so we have to use y tick uh, y, y tick uh, you know a property for y axis and for x axis we have to provide simple uh, temperature kind of yeah so that is how we can use the subplot function uh, to to split down your one figure window into m by n array so the size of n is 2 and size of n is 2 here i know for this figure plot so you can define it as per your requirement